is Jay Snyder in the blind. Um, we got the lovely neighbors across the way yelling and moving construction equipment. There's a some kind of container they're putting in the back, which they're the absolute nicest people, but the worst neighbors to have um, in regards to hunting wise. But uh, they are nice people. They have side by side trails all over. He actually had one on my property and I contacted him and said, hey dude, I'm pretty sure that's on my property in the creek. And he said, he apologized, said it was. They moved it 20 feet over. It just, from a deer hunter standpoint, it sucks. From a, an off-road UTV standpoint, it's pretty sweet. They still have never invited me to ride their trails, which whatever it is, what it is. I'm, uh, I was neighborly and I gave him a brand new cell cam when I first moved in. Um, he ended up getting an easement through the county and it's, they have, we're gonna build a house here, so eventually it's not gonna be an issue, but as far as just deer hunting goes, it's a pain in the rear, so. Oh, I did have, uh, I moved some cameras around here this morning and then at like 10 o'clock, when I was on my way to go get my landowner's tag, um, a buck, he's a four-year-old, comes strolling through and the neighbors wanna pass him, but at this point, I put so much work in, I really don't care. If he comes out, I can get cool footage of him and get him shot. He's probably 145, 150 inch 10, beautiful deer. But uh, Jace is gonna get the binoculars and look at some deer, or look for deer. Yeah, this view is really cool. I'll turn this around if I can. This is going to be our house to you someday. Take that bur oak, leave the white oak, and make a nice little valley view. We got snacks, drinks. I got a turkey tag, laying out a turkey tag, a doe tag, laying out a doe tag, a regular doe tag for this county and two buck tags, so I have a lot of tags. Donated a lot of money to the count or the DNR. Um, so far this year, I've only filled one tag. I wanna try to shoot like three or four does this week. Um, the DNR has a new program, or a new, well, it's not brand new, but I think last year, the year before, they implemented it. Um, you can go on this website, on the DNR's website, and there's a link, and it connects you with a landowner or not a landowner, excuse me, with uh, someone that's wanting deer. So it's kind of like the Hush program, but it's an interactive map that says, hey, there's this guy so far away. They'll take deer, they'll take jerky, or some people want like deer, they want you to process it, which is kind of weird. Um, but I'm, I got a couple guys that are actively looking for deer, and I'm, I'm hopefully I will fill their freezers for them, so. We shall see if something comes out and gives me a 15 yard shot with the GoPro angle and the DS4K transmit, it should be pretty cool. So we're gonna eat some snacks and jump into the Halloween candy.
Chase, I just killed him. I just shot him. Chase, I just killed him. I just killed him, dude. <gasps> shot him. You were sleeping. <laughs> I just shot that deer. Um, I had pictures of him after I left to go buy my landowner's tag. And he came in here with a doe and was down in this ravine. There's multiple bucks down there. And Jace was taking a nap. He's tired and cold. I had one got a blanket. And this deer, he's, I think he's a four year old, but this is my first deer on my own property. I'm ecstatic. I've smoked him, absolute, just pinwheeled him. He's pretty, he's dead right now, so um, it's a little dark. We'll probably, Chase and I will go grab um, maybe one flashlight or two, but we'll, we should be able to find that Luminog. Absolutely pinwheeled him. So, um, in the truck, buddy. But this is our first year on our own property. How exciting. Put so much work into this. <laughs> we can actually talk loud. We're in a hawk blind. But uh, put so much work into this this past year, um, not even a year, past like six, seven months since we purchased it in March. And uh, in this food plot, this deer came out hit a scrape. Uh, there's been a lot of deer in this ev evolved food plot, turnips and radishes. So I, I didn't think it would actually happen tonight, but it did. So my security trail camera that catches people that were trespassing caught this deer coming in with the doe so i knew hey jace let's go try to shoot him and i got in here at like two and the deer came out had my big camera going and it was a little bit further than i like to shoot but i've been practicing a lot I'm not a lot but enough that i'm comfortable with this bow just attack driver and that broadhead is going to eat him up he's toast right now but we're gonna get down, get the big camera, see if we can find the Luminoc. Um, the blood will be everywhere once we get like 20 yards in the timber. I can about guarantee that. So, pretty exciting night on the Seek farm. Tell everybody we watched the footage and hit him good. Chase? Whoa. Here's our setup. Got the GS4K transmit on video mode. I was trying to get him to come right here. That's the blind. Hold on. What? Yeah, let's just go look for the Luminoc. It's the, the shiny red thing that went right through him. Hey guys, uh, Jesse just got done hunting, came up around the video camera, but I was shot the deer out of this hawk blind and uh, it was with Jace. Jace was sleeping. And I thumped him right over here by the scrape, so we're going to see if we can find some blood. I watched the footage back, and the arrow went out and went kind of towards the ravine, so we should be able to find it. I think the Luminoc's off, but that broadhead has a huge cut, so this deer shouldn't, shouldn't have went that far. First one on my own land. Oh, yeah. And bubbles. Oh, it's all over? Yeah. Split it. Oh yeah, hold it on the hook. Hot yeah. Hot pork. Hot Yeah, he's trying to do good. He's trying to do good. No one. Yeah, he's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He got made up, did he? Yeah. Yeah, I must have made it up part way at least. Hopefully he did. That's not horrible blood. No, that's good blood. <sighs> <clears throat> 
Oh, you go I'm on the blood right here. You probably Still? Get, it's right here by my feet. I know, but I don't see anymore. Ow. Oh, he made it up here. He can fucking fizzle back and went down that way. I'm fucking toast and goats. Right here. You got some up there? Mm -hmm. I would guess this trail right here. Where's it fucking? Right there. Yeah. I mean, that's all we're talking about. Right there? Yeah. Right, Greg. Right oh, there. Good. Right there. Nice. Can you make that one? Eric, yeah, he's bleeding good right here. Oh, yeah, he can't smell. Yeah, buddy. He's uh, gonna move away from falling all the way down the hill. <laughs> good boy. Yeah. Here. Yeah, he is so close to falling down there. Dude, he's, he's, he's a big some, deer. He's got some big bases. Dude, he's an old deer. He is. He's about to send, have Dylan send his teeth on. I mean, he's got more mass than I expected. Dude, he's 50s all day. I'd, I'd say you're right. Tag him, pull him up. All right, let's say November 4th. 4th. Sweet November, as old Bill Bill Jackson would say. You know, honestly, I didn't I didn't hear that phrase that much, as much as I thought. Usually, Different generation, man. That was our generation. Bill Bill coined that. Notch. What'd you say? The fourth. Fourth. First landowner, tenant, bow, farm tag. Oh boy. The printer F that up. I talked to the neighboring landowner. He said we could drag him out to his property, so. Yeah, I think the easiest spot will be get him to that west side. The printer cut it for All right. This is kind of bittersweet here. Don't go down the hill. Man, I did pin the way off. He was dead as soon as he made it up here. That's a big deer. He's dude. He's bigger than we thought. 145, 150. Uh, he's he's at least 150. That's pretty cool. We got the story behind this guy. I had pictures on the summer. Um, we'll go back to when I first purchased the farm. My wife and I bought it. Um, we we're looking at a different piece, and my buddy Derek and Josh were like, "Hey, why don't you ask this guy to purchase his farm?" So everything worked out. Um, in March, we, we signed on it, and I paid some guys to, to do some logging, and uh, they took some trees out where I could put my food plot slash future house build, um, and I put a lot of time in putting the evolved food plot out. Um, we got the hawk blinds put in there and um, kind of just put some cameras out waiting for something to show up. And it's... Yep. So Jesse's uh, camera SD card filled up. Anyway, it's kind of ironic, um, did all that work. And then uh, today, well, going back, Aaron, Jesse and I were kind of discussing like, hey, when are you gonna hunt with the landowner? And I'm like, you know what? I, I made up my mind today because I, I know I could take Jace uh, with the U-Tag first, first season, second season shotgun until he shoots a deer. It fills that, and then Jen will probably go late muzzy. So my season's pretty much full. I can I can go and be in the outdoors as much as possible. But so today I came here, didn't hunt this morning. Um, didn't really have a lot on cams, but 
a lot, you know, there's a lot of deer missing those cams. But anyway, I came here, uh, put a couple cameras out, moved a couple, and replaced batteries. And after I left, I was thinking, you know what? I'm just gonna go buy my bow tag for landowners. All my setups are not, not far shots. Um, so I went to Hardware Hank and purchased my my first landowner um, slash tenant farm tag and not, I think it was, I bought it at 9.45 because I asked the officer, I said, hey, can you look at what time I bought that? And he, was, he said 9.45 and at 10.20 this deer um, come running through the, one of my security cameras for the front entrance with a hot doe. So I changed plans, um, asked Jace if he wanted to go and he said yes and got in at two o'clock, um, make sure I had plenty of snacks, a blanket, so he could lay down if he got tired. And uh, he got tired, he laid down, took a nap, woke up kind of screaming because he didn't know where he was, fell back asleep. And then this joker stepped out and uh, hit a scrape. And uh, the rest is history. I put a broadhead right through him. Um, this, I think he made a death run and he died right here. So probably what, what about 100, 150 yards maybe 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 100 yards just basically down the ravine and up so how far was the shot there Fred? It's about Bear? about 50 52 yards which i practice when i do practice i practice the 50 and 40 yard shot so pinwheeled him um most of my shots are about 20 but from a blind i was a uh, pretty confident and hit exactly where i was aiming so we're gonna get this sucker drug up. Uh, probably take a few nighttime pictures. I don't have my bow with me, but um, that's fine. I got uh, a statewide tag left, and uh, this is my first landowner archer buck. So pretty exciting. Um, you know, the side by sides are driving all around tonight, and they might have actually kept them in here. Uh, the guys have trails all over, and um, there, there's a hot doe, like I said. So I'm sure there's other bucks around, but let's. Uh, Let's drag them and get some pictures maybe tomorrow or yet this this evening so thanks guys